Hello everybody, Flash Rabbit here again and I'm on the Cavecraft server today. Now, as you might have seen in the last episode, we arrived in front of this huge tree with this mysterious stone circle and I've come back here today because I want to give myself a little reminder of the realms that were here because I've got a terrible memory, I'm a rabbit, we don't have very good memories. So we've got the land of dwarves and trolls, I remember that one, uh, realm of the fairies, village of the humans, Atlantis and... oh. Well, this wasn't here before. Guys, have you seen this sign in the stone circle? The hills of the enchanted ones. Who are they? Oh, are they, are yeah. they here or something? Yeah, yeah. Hello? I think it's coming, it's Hi. coming from I over here. here. I, I thought I heard somebody monologuing. Hold on. Let me come over there. Oh, there's a flash. Oh, there's a flash. I see a flash. Hello, Flash. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're there. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we've, we've got, got a strange help. sign. A, a strange sign. In the stone circle, is there a DG with you? Oh, here we are. Oh, oh. and a chop chop. And a chop chop. Brilliant. And a chop chop. Yeah, yeah, the whole the circle. Just need J and and I believe JGD and um, JGD Fuzzy. and Flyer. Um, yeah. I think um, off probably doing, doing some adventuring, some adventuring or something. Yeah. They may, they might have been snapped by Thanos. We're the OG K crafters. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, look, what, the, hill, the hills of the enchanted ones. Oh, cool. Oh. What do you guys reckon? Oh, <gasps> do you guys reckon? What? Do you reckon, <gasps> am I an enchanted one? Oh, you look pretty enchanted to me, JJ. You do look maybe, enchanted, yeah. maybe the enchanted ones are wicked. Hold on. Turn around one more time. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nice yeah. I was yeah. gonna say yeah. you need to put on I'm your sorry. frozen outfit so you can be enchanting. Oh yeah. Well, get up, get away, get away, get away. This is really uh, interesting. What hills when did, do you, when did you notice? Did you just did you notice, just notice this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I just come over to start my episode, and uh, I wanted to oh. remind myself of all the realms. Yeah, huh? I've not seen it before. But then again, I've not been back here be since last yeah. time. I mean, mm. neither I have I, because we haven't really needed. I didn't think we needed to check up here, but I guess these oh, stones no. well, are we gonna probably just... keep up to date. I guess. Yeah. yeah just quite keep checking, checking I think. back on here. Yeah. Mm. The hills of the enchanted ones. I'm gonna do it. What oh. hills? So those hills over there um, are the trolls and the dwarves. Those are the trolls and the dwarves. Yeah. And that means the hills must be the ones behind the village because they look rather enchanted, don't they? They do look pretty yeah. magical. And they're pretty hilly. Yeah. Yeah, they're very hilly. Chop chop. Yeah. The hilliest they're of the hills. Hilly. The hilliest of the hills. I would, I would mm. always uh, call them mountains. I would go to, as far to say they are mountains. Yeah. But yeah, I, I there's foothills in the mountains, so I think yeah. it still applies, don't you think? Yes, yes, definitely. Let's go have a look at them. Hello, village. Was the hills of mountains of the enchanted ones doesn't roll off the tongue as nice? No. No, it doesn't. Definitely not. It doesn't. Yep, that looks pretty hillish to me. It yeah. does, yeah. Oh, can't you just envision it? Whoa, yeah. Wizard towers, oh, magical houses, well wall. shops spilling down the mountain. Yes, JJ, maybe your wall, you had that um, you had that feeling that you needed to build that wall because you yourself yeah. are a wizard I, to protect yeah. the wizard. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, wait, by the way, guys, our view yeah. is wild. This is the first time oh. seeing the wall. Oh, it viewers. is. Yes, JJ's been working on this wall here, and now yes. we know why. Let's go and have a look at it. I'm just going to run up and have a nice, closer you. look. Your magic powers. Yes, it, it just came. My, be my beard got felt. I had a tingle in my beard. My beard oh. was... Uh, maybe, oh, my, maybe my beard can talk to me. That sounds disturbing. It does, really. <laughs> Not something you want, is it? A talking beard. No, <laughs> no. No. Then again. no. Not at all. Not again. <laughs> Especially if it starts to stroke your face as it's talking to you. Yeah. That'd be yes. really unnerving, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. Stroking yes. your cheek, caressing your cheek. It like would it. be. <laughs> well, I guess we better get working on this wall and some wizardly things. Yes, JJ. Yeah. That, that gives us a good idea for a build, doesn't it? Give you some good ideas yeah, for build. Yeah, it gives me some great ideas. So before we get building today, uh, I decided to come down and get resources and I found this massive cave. I followed it down uh, from this waterfall right here and it, it goes right from where our little mountain village is all the way down here. It's crazy how far this drops down. Um, but I had been down here before, right here as a matter of fact. I fell down through here when I was 
digging a hole uh, just to try to get my stuff back from the previous uh, time that I died and uh, I was in that big cave. And I and landed in here. There's tons of mobs. So I ran over here, barricaded myself in, and this is how I got back out again. Uh, but I, this is what I missed because I was in such a hurry to get out of here. Right over here. Look at this. This is crazy. We have um, oh, one minecart right here. We have uh, two minecart right here. And uh, right back here, we have a, a third minecart. This is this is crazy. So if you're you know at all interested in playing along on the seed at all, um, we're at negative 350, negative 200, and then we are at 35 is the height. So uh, just if you're looking for that, but this is a great cave. I mean, look how big this is. It's a dripstone cave. It's huge. Um, and right below this, I'm pretty sure there's another cavernous cave just like this. And then right below that is another one. So um, we could actually, once we get a beacon, take this whole floor out and have this just be a gigantic um, underground chasm down here. Hey, I'm back at the village and um, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, make some other villagers to support us. And uh, one of them is going to be the armor, which we need the blast furnace for. And then I got the two grindstones for the weaponsmith. So. Let's go down and see what we can do. There we go. Okay, so where should we put this stuff? I guess we could probably put it, we don't want to put it against the wall because they'll jump over it. Um, but we could put it just like right here. Um, well, you know what? I want the kind of armor to be over this direction, maybe. So maybe we, what's that horse doing there? Gosh. Maybe what we should do is put the armor on this side of the house right here. And then we can put two weaponsmiths beside it. Do one right here and one right here like that. We should get the guys coming over here. All right, we've got the coal trade. Perfect, let's lock them in. Uh, looting two, sweeping edge three. That's a, actually a pretty good sword too. So let's go ahead and here it is. Cause we can make that a looting three just by combining it. So we'll lock you in. Uh, let's see what you got here. Coal trade, perfect, that's what we want. So put you in there. We can just go ahead and Advance you up to the next level. What do you got there? Okay, chain mail. It's never a fun thing because I usually end up just melting that stuff back down again. Do we do have do we have two weaponsmiths yet? Might have been too late in the day to get two weaponsmiths, so we'll have to wait until the next morning to see what the other weaponsmith has. Oh no, here he is, right here. Alright, what do you got? Uh you don't have a coal trade. Uh, but you do have a decent sword too. Um, hmm. You know, I think we'll keep you and uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, spend some of our emeralds here on uh, leveling you up. Let's see if we do just regular old axes. What do we have to buy here? We're going to have enough. Nope, not quite enough. Okay, we'll, we'll keep on working on you. And I also thought it might be good to also have a leather worker. So we can put the leather worker over here. Um, we'll put them on this side of the house, right like that. So we should be able to get saddles then, hopefully. So we have to trade six leather for an emerald. Okay, we can we can we can arrange that. We can arrange that. All right, I got all the villagers moved into their little corral area right here. Uh, they're gonna stay here for the time being until we get our massive build done. And um, you know what? Without further ado, let's get to that right now. Hey, DG. Hey, DG. Hey, Choppy. What do you got? I got gifts. Yeah. Shiny gifts. What do you? Let's see it. Let's see it. Because... Oh, sweet. What are they? Now they're falling for. Fire protection three. You know I need that, and unbreaking three. Unbreaking three is actually excellent. You know I'm a big fan of unbreaking. Thank you so much. Now we can You're totally welcome. build You're our welcome. build without, well, potentially dying, from fall damage. Well, hopefully, that Which will I... save us a little bit of food. There's a sheep behind you. Wait, wait. I'm scared of sheep. But we have we have a big build planned here it's enormous this this doesn't even this is even part of the floor and the reason i'm putting this up here is so we don't die from massive fall damage so we're gonna have like a little bit of a dirt floor up there just to protect us 
And um, I went ahead and yep. moved the villagers down off of the building area here so they wouldn't interfere. But um, yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be awesome, man. I'm, ex I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait to see it finish, man. Let's do it. All right, I don't even know where to stand to do this building justice. It is enormous. Enormous, look at this. This, this is just one wall. Let's go on in the inside. We have to redo this entry like way here. Uh, we're gonna make this a little bit more grand coming in. Uh, this was just a temporary thing, but uh, here we have our gatehouse coming in. And this is the kind of like the utility courtyard down here. This is where we're going to have our villagers set up. And um, yeah, we should probably get doing that sooner than later. So maybe what I'll do is I'll move the villagers that are have professions in. Uh, we'll get them set up in stalls. And um, then we can uh, get this to be a more active trading area. Okay. But anyhow, let's get back up here real quick. Uh, then this is the the main kind of keep courtyard up here. I got a sprint because this is so large. Uh, this is kind of where we're going to have our maybe storage and living quarters in here in this part of the keep. Um, I don't think we're going to have any villagers up here, but I don't know. Actually, this could all turn into a villager area, but a nice big. We'll probably put some stables over here and there's plenty of room inside this gigantic building. Let me go in here really quick and I'll show you. I mean, just as you can see, some of this stuff is still temporary, but this is like a massive like hall right here. We have another one that uh, get overlooks. This is the uh, court, second courtyard, the upper courtyard up here. Then we can go upstairs and this is, goes to the towers. Um, this is where we were storing our stuff while we were building. But I'm telling you, this this build is just so massive. Um, and the, kind of the story behind this one, um, I wanted to protect the villagers a little bit better. And I was like, uh, chop chop, I'd like to build a castle. Um, and he's like, yeah, I love doing that kind of stuff. Uh, totally in for that. And I was like, okay, let me look at some photos. And I found this picture from Tribal Wars and I sent it to chop chop and he already had the same image on his computer. He um, was going to build this eventually anyhow. And I was like, uh, give me a chance, uh, give me a crack at designing this in creative and we'll see if we, what I can do. And it was horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. So I was like, chop, chop, please help, please help me. So he took this and in about an hour, uh, slight exaggeration, but uh, it was really quick. He came up with this design and it was, I mean, just incredible. Uh, let me throw up the images of the original 
uh, image that he built this off of, and then also the the Im the final image of the castle as seen kind of like in the same perspective. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, just amazing. Uh, very talented. And uh, then we then went on a mission to gather as much materials as possible. Um, a yes, double double chest, triple chest of uh, stone, uh, andesite blocks, and um, then just like dark oak and spruce. I made a dark oak farm and I was cutting those down. Uh, we used a ton of clay for the terracotta roof over there. Uh, that was all courtesy of that uh, lush cave that I found at the start of the series. And you can kind of see right here um, behind my temporary house, I built another stone generator and, and chop chop AFK there and got plenty of stone with a silk touch pickaxe uh, so we could just easily convert it to uh, the stone bricks and uh, then cook the stone bricks and make uh, the cracked stone brick variant as well. But yeah, this is just, this is just so cool. But let's go ahead and get some of the villagers in here and see what we can do about getting some stations set up for trades. Okay, it's never as easy as I hope it is <laughs> going to be. They, um, they definitely have a pathfinding in mind of their own. I'm missing the leather worker, um, but that's okay. Um, everybody else is up here right now. So we'll move the leather worker in the same way that we move these folks in. Uh, but now we need to get little little bases set up for them. So like the weapon smith and the um, weapon smiths and the uh, armor. And let's see, do we have a tool smith? We have one tool smith. Two tool smith. Okay, cool. Awesome. Great. So what we should do is maybe make a blacksmith. Um, I'm thinking almost maybe, maybe over, no, not in front of the stairs. Perhaps just under the stairs is the best place for it. Although we need a chimney to go up somewhere. So maybe it's actually better to put it over on this side. We'll do the blacksmith over here. That gives me a little room and then I can move these folks over this way like that. All right, I'm gonna do that and uh, then I will be back. Okay, we are done with the forge slash villager area that we're gonna be trading. And here's the surprise. You ready for it? Uh, they're, they're minotaurs. We put cow heads on all the villagers. So every villager in this castle is going to be a minotaur. And this is the Minotaur Kingdom. That's the title of this whole episode. Isn't that a great idea? Uh, Chop Chop had an idea of uh, doing uh, different types of uh, uh, people based off of uh, head, like the animal uh, drops or the different heads that we get. And I was like, hey, let's make this a Minotaur Kingdom. Wouldn't that be really cool? So that's what we planned on doing. Uh, but we plan on putting banners up and uh, other kind of decorations all to do with Minotaurs and um, we're going to have a bunch of different varieties of things in here. You just stay tuned. Stay tuned. This is going to be a great build. But I think with that, that's going to bring us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and like to see more from the Dad's Guide in the future, you know what to do. Click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and press the notification bell. Next time, um, I don't know. This was this was a burnout episode, so I think I might do some exploring or something. Uh, maybe go into the nether. Uh, maybe do just something small. Uh, but... Uh, I will make sure that it is entertaining. It is entertaining, so please come back and uh, view this channel often. Watch this episode many times. That time lapse, fantastic. Okay, until next time, this has been Dad's Guide. Bye for now.